Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is gorgeous out. I am excited. I am ready to go for spring. I'm super pumped. I'm filming a couple videos this weekend for you guys. Uh, for this video, I wanted to do an in-depth review of the Sephora Favorites Skin Bender Volume 1 Skin Care Kit. Uh, I bought this in January when they had their skin care kind of focus, you know, spring cleaning, skin care, you know, recover after winter and the holidays. And I, you know, said I was going to do kind of an in-depth review on this after I've used some more of the products and I never really got around to it and then I kind of didn't feel like doing it because I didn't know if you could still purchase this. But I just saw that this and the Volume 2 are currently on sale on Sephora.com. I think this is um, $5 off and the other one's $3 off. So you can still purchase this. You can get it a little cheaper than what I paid for it. So I thought it'd be great to talk to you guys about it. Um, overall, I did really like this kit. It is a little expensive for what it is. Is. So if you do have a skincare routine you really like, you're not really interested in trying out too many new things, this one may not be for you. But if you're like me and you like trying new things, you like sample sizes, you think those things are kind of fun, this is a really fun kit. Uh, in here you get nine, I think it is. Ten. You get ten products to sample and they're all kind of in the theme of pampering your skin of just making your skin hydrated and feel good. The other kit, the, the Volume 2 Detox kind of cleanser kit, that one's more focused on, you know, blemish prone skin. Uh, it's a little bit more focused on like oilier skin. And I think they both work together really well though, because then you get a good um, range of products, a good range of brands to try. I love the Sephora favorites too, just because like, you do get to try a bunch of different brands instead of trying like all one brand, because sometimes I feel like different brands do different things better than others. So this is really great. Um, I'm gonna go through each of these products and kind of tell you, you know, if I've used it, what I think of it. I haven't used two of them, and I've given two of them away. Um, I gave away the Josie Marin Argan Oil right away. Uh, I have a sensitivity to Argan Oil, but that doesn't mean it's a bad product. Argan Oil is really great. Everyone loves Argan Oil. It's just, personally, myself, I'm sensitive to it. It's, it doesn't do good things for me. So I just gave that one away originally. And then I also gave away my La Occitane, La Occitane hand cream. Uh, this is just the Shea Butter hand cream with a little tiny metallic tube of it. It's a really nice hand cream. It did make my, my skin feel really nice and soft and everything. But the scent was a little too powdery, a little too almost old lady-ish for me. So I gave that one away. Otherwise, I have all the other products. The two products I have yet to try. And I'll show you. They all come in this little bag here. It's very retro, very bowler bag-esque. Um, I don't think it's the cutest thing ever. It's definitely not the cutest bag that these products have come in. But it is fun that they come in this bag. I mean, this is a great bag for travel for your skincare items, so it's nice to have. Uh, the two products I have yet to try are the Bliss High Intensity 24 Heaven Body Butter. Um, I haven't even opened this yet. I just have so many other body butters I'm trying to go through right now, especially my fortune cookie soap ones, because those ones, being, you know, less preservative-y, they don't last quite as long, so I want to go through them before they go bad. So I haven't opened this, but I have heard that people really do like this product, that it has a really nice fragrance to it, that it leaves their skin really hydrated, and I've never actually tried anything from Bliss before, so when I do get through all my other body butters, I am, you know, looking forward to trying that. And the other product I haven't tried yet, um, for kind of similar reasons is the Origins Checks and Balance Frothy Face Wash. This is a face wash that's good for people with combination skin, I hear, because it will, you know, clean up your acne, not your acne, it'll clean up the oil, where there's excess oil, it'll hydrate where you need hydration. Um, but I haven't tried this out yet just because I have so many other cleansers and everything to go through first. Otherwise, I've tried everything else in the bag here. I'm just gonna kind of pull things out of here and show you. I'm gonna start with this, um, Alginist with Microalgae Oil Advanced Anti-Aging Repair Oil. So you get a little bottle of it here. It has a dropper. Basically, um, you just need two or three drops of this product in your palms, and then you just kind of press it on your face. I really like this stuff. I really feel like this has been helping my skin texture. Um, I use this every night at the very least. I do sometimes use it in the morning. It just depends on how my skin feels after I put on my sunscreen. Some mornings I wake up, it feels a little bit more oilier than others, and I don't do the additional step. But I really like that product. I really um, am enjoying it and feel like I'm seeing results from it. Uh, next product is the Ultra Repair ultra repair cream by fab beauty this is one of my favorite brands of skincare i've tried a lot of things from this line this is kind of their best seller i think this product is so good at taking care of like really dry skin chapped skin 
Uh, I think this is one of the only products that's like clinically proven for psoriasis, I believe, or eczema or something like that. I don't really remember. But this is a really great product just for any kind of skin ails you have. I used to use it just as a facial moisturizer, just a little bit of it. Uh, it's very hydrating. I thought it was a good winter moisturizer. I especially use, like to use it around my nose because my nose gets really red and really chapped in the winter and this helps out so much. So I do love this product a lot. Uh, next is the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Facial Moisturizer. I've only used this a couple times. Um, overall, I think it's a nice kind of moisturizer. It's just, you know, your average white cream. Uh, I haven't noticed anything like exceptionally exciting, but I do know this brand makes really great products. I've used a couple of their products before and have definitely enjoyed them. So I'm just really glad to get this. I think this is a good moisturizer. This has pretty good reviews on Sephora.com. So that is a good one to have. Uh, next up is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. This I really like. I'm really sad this is such a small sample. Uh, but Dr. Jart is a Korean brand. They have a lot of skincare products. Um, this is like part of a kind of a set. There's a liquid and a cream, and you're supposed to use them together. But I know lots of people just use the cream. Uh, it's just, it's so, it's just so nice on your skin. I love using this at night as kind of a heavier moisturizer. It just, it has a weird smell. Like it smells weird, but it just feels so nice, and it makes my skin feel so soft and smooth, and it, it, it just. I really love the feeling of this stuff, so I kind of am interested in buying a full size of this. We'll see um, where I'm at with the rest of my skincare samples, but that is something I might buy a full size of. Uh, next is the Kors Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. I've tried this product once before and I didn't like it the first time I tried it, but I felt like since I have this tube, why not give it another try? This is a very healthy sample size. This is a nighttime facial cream. Uh, it has yogurt in it and things like that. It does have a very yogurty smell. It does kind of smell like you're putting food on your face, but you know, you're going to sleep, so it's not like that big of a deal. But this stuff, actually, the second time around, I'm enjoying it much more than the first time. Uh, once again, this is another product. It's heavier, it's, it's very moisturizing, very hydrating. And the first time I tried it, I thought it had broke me out. But I've used it, like, I've used this a very long time. I've used this almost daily, pretty much since I got this kit. And I, I don't think this is contributing at all to my acne. It's just... Overall, I think it's a nice product. I know that Kors makes some really nice products. So this is a nice one to give a try to... Give a try... A, Try again. <laughs> I can't figure out the right grammatical way to say that. And then finally, this is the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. This is, came in here too as well. Apparently this has 30 times the vitamin C of an orange. So like an anti-aging kind of sunscreen product. It's, you know, a CC cream. Uh, it is kind of on the yellow side, color-wise. This is the color here. Uh, it matches me pretty well. Like, it does blend in really well. If you are really pale or really dark, this probably won't work for you. You can kind of see where it is on my hand here. It's a really, really sheer coverage. Um, it doesn't really give me the coverage I want. I feel like my BB cream, my Dr. Jart Black Label Detox BB cream gives me more coverage than this CC cream. But I think, like, if you just want to throw this on, like if you're just going to the store or if you're just going to the beach or something, this is a really nice like lightweight type of moisturizing just with a little bit of coverage, a little bit of like evening out your skin tone. And it does have a lot of nice stuff in it. Apparently it's an anti-aging treatment with Camu Camu and Arbutin, uh, which improve collagen for the appearance of firmer, brighter, younger looking skin. So this is fun to try. Peter Thomas Roth is another brand I really like the products from. Uh, so I believe that was all nine products from this kit. Uh, like I said, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, I feel, for what you get. It is almost $50. You do get 10 samples, so it's kind of like two glossy boxes, I guess you want to compare it that way. So value-wise, it's about the same. Uh, they say it's a $115 value, and I, I believe them. You know, I, I could definitely see like a bunch of this stuff, like all these samples, being approximately that. Um, but especially now that it's on sale, if you're interested at all in trying out a bunch of different skincare samples or like skincare brands, I would look into this. I would look into maybe even getting both if you can afford it because like I said, both of the bags really play off each other really well with the one being more like cleansers and exfoliators and this one being more like moisturizers. And that is kind of my overall, I guess, 
is this really a review? I don't know, an overview of the Sephora Favorites Skin Bender Volume 1 skincare set. I hope you enjoyed this video, that you have a really great day, and thank you so much for watching.